Hello everyone, I myself Udal Uena and I'm part of Team 12 and, I'll, and today I'll be presenting a brief introduction about the working mechanism of our project that is intervehicular communication. So we have uh, two cars and what we want is to, is to induce communication between the two cars. But in, in order to save some uh, power, what we are going to do is that if the distance between the two cars is more than 2 meters, then there will be no Wi-Fi connection between the two cars and it is going to save energy. And you know, in such a condition, our microcontroller is going to give out a white light and it is going to indicate that the processor is in the idle state. And, and for the second case, if the distance between the two cars, that is the car 1 and car 2, is less than 2 meters, then it indicates that it is okay for the connection to take, uh, to take place. So the car 2 and the car 1 will initiate a Wi-Fi protocol, protocol and it is going to start the communication. So in the communication uh, itself, it consists first it consists of the distance. So it is going to measure the distance and it is going to send to the uh, first car. So in order, to, uh, in order to measure the distance, we are taking three, three distance sensors which are sharp IR sensors one front, one side, and then another one, which is the confirmation one, which is the back side one. So, front front side uh, position sensor measures the distance that is before the car two, the fr in front of the car two, th so that this car one has some space to overtake and go in front of car two. So, after this front sensor act actually activate is activated and it, it, it passes the thing, then we will go on to the side one. This side one measures the distance of a slanting distance of car two so that uh, car one has enough space to overtake and go in the front. After this is uh, validated, we'll go to the last one which is the confirmation one. This confirmation one is the distance which is the back distance, the, the back, back side of the car two. Uh, so after the car 2 has uh, done all the measurements, it is going to send all of the data to car 1. And this car 1 is going to process all of the data. The, uh, the data that is included are the front distance, the side distance and the confirmation distance. So after processing this data, it is going to give a confirmation back to this car 1 in the form of an LED. It is going to give a green color that is going to tell the car 1 that the condition is right for the overtaking. And, 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 the, uh, and the data communication is not only linear, it is bidirectional. So when the uh, data communication is happening from car 2 to car 1, the communication is also happening from car 1 to car 2 itself. So what are the data that is being communicated from car 1 to car 2? The communication is uh, nothing but the acceleration in the x direction, the y direction and then the front distance. And the, and the reason why we need the front distance is it is actually for the danger sensing. And so when the uh, distance is very less, it is going to give a signal to this uh, red LED and it's going to sound, it, sound an alarm that is going to notify the person that the car one is actually approaching it. So not only that, uh, and as I've mentioned uh, before, uh, it is also going to send the acceleration data. And and what we are, and how we are going to use the acceleration data is that when the acceler when the y acceleration of the car one is significantly enough and also at the same time continuous it kind of implies that the car one has already started overtaking so the car two is going to give a confirmation and it is going to bring a blue led and that is going to notify the driver that the ex that the overtaking has already taken place and that he has to maintain a proper velocity in order for the overtaking to take place safely so and now we are going to take a take a look at our uh, program so as we can see it is giving both the back distance and the front distance and since both of them is more than four meter we are giving we are getting a confirmation that it is in the idle set so this pilot means that there is no wi-fi connection and it is all in the idle set but if i change the distance of this uh, front then it is going to change it into Wi-Fi hotspot. So, so we are going to measure the distance. And then when the distance is, is less enough, then it is going to start the Wi-Fi hotspot. And it is going to act as the receiver. Since, since we've looked into the case where uh, the LED turned white because the distance between the cars is far apart, 
So now let's look into the part where the distance between the two cars is less than two meters. That means it's a danger zone. Now uh, I have put the confirmation uh, uh, confirmation sensor a bit of uh, uh, one meter in one meter distance, which is less than two meters. Now let's run the code and see how it works. See, as you can see, it it sends a beep, which is an alarm. and uh, the red signal so this is how it's going to stop alert the alert the user that is the human to stop to for telling to not overtake now we are going to run the receiver and sender code in the microcontroller so if i uh, run this code here we have for the hotspot and then we have for the wifi and if we look closer we can see that the data communication have already took place and now my, the microcontroller is going to check for the condition of the front distance the side distance and the confirmation the distance and it is going to print out uh, the waiting sign that is the yellow line so right now i'm putting the front distance sensor and the side distance sensor outside my window so that it gives the right confirmation for the overtaking to take this and then now we are going to run the code so we have for, we have here for the hotspot and then we have here for the wifi and now we can see that it is uh, performing the confirmation action and now it, it, it gives the right condition for the overtaking to take this